Greece and Persia are famed for not getting along all too well. However, what started this conflict between peoples? This is the history of the Ionian Revolt. The Ionian Revolt is named after the region it took place in, in Ionia, modern day Turkey. This area was populated by Greek colonists, who were currently under the rule of the huge Persian Empire. The Persians had installed Persian loyal tyrants in each of the Greek cities in order to govern the region. These were appointed by the satrap of Sardis. In 499 BC, the tyrant of Miletus, Astragoras, proposed a campaign against the unoccupied island of Naxos. The Persians agreed to the idea and began to assemble a joint task force, made up of Ionians and Persians. However, the invasion of Naxos was nothing short of an utter failure, with Astragoras returning to Miletus with his tail between his legs. Astragoras was now fearful that he was going to be replaced. So, rather than wait for the Persians to get rid of him, he decided to get rid of the Persians. Declaring his city a free state, he encouraged the rest of Ionia to also revolt. This was a massive success, with most of the Ionians rising up in rebellion. However, knowing that they could not fight the Persians on their own, the Ionians decided to ask for help from mainland Greece. Out of all the cities they asked for help, only two, Athens and Orisha, responded. A year later, the reinforcements from these cities arrived, and the rebels began their campaign. The rebels quickly marched towards the Persian capital of the region, Sardis. After a short siege, the rebels successfully took the city and then symbolically burnt the place to the ground. However, on their return journey, they found themselves being tracked by the mighty Persian cavalry. Within no time, the two sides engaged in a pitched battle, with the rebels coming off the worse. This effectively ended the rebellion's offensive campaign, as they were now permanently on the defensive. The Persians then attempted a three-pronged attack to crush the rebellion. However, an unexpected arrival to the rebellion, Carrier, meant that the largest of the armies was diverted there. Although initially successful, this large army was eventually ambushed and utterly annihilated. This led to a prolonged stalemate for a year, during which time the Persians regrouped and assembled their mighty navy. The Ionians decided to row out and meet the Persian fleet. However, it was decisively defeated at the Battle of Lade. After this, Miletus was besieged and later recaptured by the Persians, effectively ending the Ionian Revolt. The Ionian Revolt was the first conflict between the Greek and the Persians. The conflict had been such an insult that the Persian king, Darius, immediately began a campaign to bring the upstart Athenians and Eretians to heel for daring to help the rebels. But that is a story for another time. Thank you for watching and listening to our videos. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed. Or if you really like the channel, consider supporting us on Patreon. There, for as little as $1 a month, you'll gain access to an ever-expanding variety of exclusive Ancient History Guy content not found anywhere else online. All donations go directly back into the channel, helping us on our campaign to conquer YouTube. All sources are listed and linked in the description below, I've been the Ancient History Guy, and as always, I'll be seeing you later.